So I finally finished work on a house I bought a year ago with the intent to uh, fix up and then rent out after occupying for a year. So in this video, I wanna show all the work that I've done as well as some uh, updated numbers at the end. We'll start at the entrance here. This is the front door right here. So uh, basically just touched up the doors. I, th I think these actually had to paint. There's a bunch of scratches all over the doors. It looks like a dog caused it, but see and then touched up all of the walls there's nasty 20 year old carpet here replaced all of that i did the whole house as well this is the corlux ultra this is what i used in the, another house and i liked it so much i uh, went ahead and used it here this is the kitchen uh this tile is here so again just touched up all the trim any bare spots all of this is original it didn't come with the fridge uh, i brought that here when I was renting out the rooms, I'm gonna leave that here for the uh, tenants that move in. Uh, I did add silicone to the entire kitchen, all of the corners, all around the sink, and everything uh, to avoid any water damage. But this house came with some nice appliances. These are pretty new. So especially these light fixtures too, all of these are LEDs, which is nice. Even these, these look like fluorescents, but they're LED. Here I painted the garage. This was unfinished drywall. So I uh, primed and painted it. So it came out really good actually. So this is the master I'm going to. Pretty big master bedroom. Painted the walls in here. Replaced the blinds. Didn't do anything to this closet. It looks like the sellers had uh, updated it right before selling because all this looked brand new as well in this bathroom. This shower here was put in uh, just a couple, like five years ago. So it's pretty nice shower glass. Didn't do anything to this bathroom. So this is a four bed total. So I'll start in this one. So I did paint this room. You could see the uh, existing paint is up there. I did an edge but there's a slight difference where you can see that it's faded over the years because this is the same paint color as what that used to be. The closets didn't do anything. I always just cut off the carpet right here when I'm replacing the flooring because this is typically in good shape. Didn't do anything in here other than uh, the same thing, contact paper under the sink and then some splash guards and then silicone everywhere. Same for the other bathroom. The silicone is always uh, in bad condition on these houses, or they use uh, latex caulking, which is all cracked and leaking. So this bedroom is identical to that bedroom over there that I just showed. And this is actually bigger, quite a bit bigger than those other bedrooms. And I don't know if it's meant to be an office or what, but it has everything for a bedroom. Nice closet, French doors. So outside, I did do a lot of work. I painted the entire exterior because the existing paint was uh, the same as the inside. It was 2012 and it was already showing signs of failing in places. So I just uh, went ahead and painted over with the exact same stuff. It was bare ultra, uh, which is good enough. So if it lasts 10 years outside, you know, that's pretty, pretty good. <laughs> And I also stained the fence. It was a cedar fence, but it looked the cedar looked uh, about 15, 20 years old. So it was really rotted, or not rotted, but uh, weather worn. HVAC was, was new as well. Just clean this up. I got some mint, which is smells good every time I'm out. Now I'm gonna go around to the front. Okay, we're at the front. I walk out, so I like this nice covered entryway. Of course, painted up there. Anywhere there's tan paint, uh, I painted over. Of course, tons of landscaping. I had to cut a bunch of branches because they always let them overgrow and they rub on the fascia and the roof. <laughs> and 
and this is it. So that's the whole house. Oh, also, I didn't mention earlier, but these rooms were also painted as well. This room was a tan, even the ceiling was tan, so I had to paint it white and then paint the walls the same color as everything else. But you can't even tell. And what's interesting about this house is it came with this nice crown molding, so it makes it look fancy. Anyways, that's the walkthrough of uh, a principal residence I bought with the intent to rent out. When you buy a principal residence, you get a lower interest rate. You just have to occupy it for a year, which isn't bad. You could get roommates if you want. Uh, and it's also easier to be able to work on this. You have way more time than worrying about trying to rent it out as soon as possible. Uh, so everything turned out nice on this one. So now, uh, since I'm about to rent this out, I'm gonna go over the numbers. They're very different than my projections a year ago. Rents have increased a lot, way more than normal here. So I'll go over the numbers as well as the uh, the taxes and insurance increases, see how, and I'll show how they compared to my projections from one year ago.